Yo, <clears throat> gonna show you a real quick video on um, featuring the unlock of Mason, the character Mason. So the first thing you need is that white shirt. You can find it in any supply crate. Uh, the next thing you're gonna need to do is once you have this character item, the stained white shirt, you need to uh, complete a character is unlock the sleeper agent. Uh, to do this, it's very simple. You need to um, get yourself to array and push a button in the big middle building that has on the second floor. I'll show you right here. Once you make your way into this big building and you want to push your interact button on that computer console right there, and you'll see your all of a sudden you get the kind of uh, blackout numbers flashing on your screen. So that was waking the sleeper agent, the character like uh, objective for this this item. Uh, the next thing you need to do um, to unlock this item is you need to place top 15. So be one of the top 15 players in the match uh, with the character item in your inventory. So I'm just uh, kind of just playing it safe. Waiting uh, until I am one of the top 15 players, and then I will be uh, assured this character unlocked. Again, you need to find the white shirt, a white stained shirt, that is Mason's character unlock item. It will be in any, um, it can generate or can uh, spawn in any of the supply crates. That's the only place you'll find it. It's random. You know, you can find supply crates won't have the item in it, or you can be lucky and find a supply crate with the stained white shirt in it. Once you have the stained white shirt, you must unlock the sleeper agent that is simply interacting with a computer console in Array. You will get the blackout numbers flashing on your screen, and then you need to place top 15 with that character item in your inventory. And uh, that's it. We'll have uh, Mason. Not too bad. My suggestions are dropping close to Array. Um, so if you do happen to find a supply crate with the character unlock item in it, you have a good chance of being able to get to Array um, and uh, interact with that council before anybody else does. Uh, you can also interact with the council in the storm. So maybe the storm's past Array. You can still take a risk and run through the storm to interact with that button. But anyway, that'll be it. Thanks. Take care. Peace.